Hello, I'm YouTube and my name is Drew, or Uo, or Brendo, or lately Ender. Uh, and I'm here to talk about the find command. This is the find page, uh, the, find, the, the find command manual page. Manual pages are great. If you don't know about a command, type man and the command and then read and you will understand that command fully. They're very detailed. They tell you everything and they're usually, you know, pretty well written. So if you like reading, you can just stop this video and do man find and read this instead of listening to my dumb cartoon dog voice. This is going to be fairly basic. I'm going to talk about why you'd use a find command, what you use it for, and how you use it. But it's going to be just, you know, fairly basic overview. So if you're already comfortable with a find command, you can stop this video now and go and play outside and have a nice time. For those of you who are still here, we'll talk about the find command. So first of all, there's a few ways to sort of list files on Linux, which is essentially what the find command is doing, right? Let's make this bigger. Is that big enough for laptop people? Hopefully. Right, so first of all, you can just ls. That gives you a list of files. It's often said that you should not use ls in scripts because the output of ls is a bit unreliable. Uh, there's some truth to that. It's overstated. If you're just if you're if you're working on the servers that keep the stars working, then yeah, you probably shouldn't use ls in your scripts on that server. If you're just making a little script for yourself that alphabetizes your list of Vin Diesel films, probably not a problem, right? You know, if that breaks, not the end of the world. Also, you know what your input is. You know what is in the file names that you're using. Because the biggest problem with ls is that well, in, on, on Linux, any any character can be in a file name. There's no restriction on what characters you can put in a file name. I think even including the null character. Uh, and and the, the most the biggest cause of problems with that is that new lines can be in file names. So the output of ls uh, is by default is delineated by new lines, and you might have a new line in the file name. So does your script know whether that's the end of a file name or just a new line inside the file name? So if you do that's not going to be great in scripts in that circumstance in that incredibly have i ever seen a file name with a new line in it no not in my life could it theoretically exist yes so you know use common sense ls is fine in a lot of cases in scripts uh the other thing you can do is uh globbing like on um i'm on zed shell zed shell's globbing is really cool so if i do ls etsy star star slash star dot comp this is a good way of finding files so if I do that, that lists every comp file at any depth in my Etsy folder. So with Z shells globbing, the star star means any path. So slash Etsy slash any path at all, and then anything called star.conf. And we get all my config files. Uh, and that's all good. So yeah, there's, 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 you can just often you can just find things with, with globbing. Uh, you can do the uh, I in glob do echo i done right so we're just using globbing there if you just want a list of everything in the folder without some of the problems of ls so if you're a little bit worried about ls but you don't want to do anything super complicated you can just do that if you just want to list everything in 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 the folder uh so that's for you know for i in glob so everything here do echo i done so i'm just you know echoing the output you can but obviously you can do anything with that right so those are the simple ways of finding things. But the, the downside of those is you, you can't search. Find fundamentally is for searching, right? So in its most basic use, let's, let's just change to my documents folder. This could be embarrassing. I just need to remember not to cat uh, my Vin Diesel love poetry. But other than that, we should be a rate. So in its most basic use, it just find, ooh, if I don't typo, it just lists everything, right? But obviously, you can do more than that. So if we do find dash i name star dot png, there we go. So what that's done, let's get the command back up. I mean, it's a bit bigger. That might be a little bit small for you laptop freaks. So find i name. So in name, essentially, the i just means uh, case insensitive. So my search was case insensitive in case anything was uppercase dot png. You can, if you're certain of the file names, just use dash name. It's probably quicker, I assume. I tend to just always use dash i name, you know, just for simplicity. So find in name um, anything dot ping, and it's done that at any depth within the current folder that I'm in. 
So that's cool. So if I wanted to find like all images, I can do, do I show, I, uh, not all in images, but let's say pings and JPEGs. Dot JPEG, right? So let's get command back up again. So dash O means or. So first of all, find the structure of a find command is, you know, the command and then a path. If you don't supply a path, it assumes the current path. Um, so find path and then rules for what you want. So I want something uh, called anything.ping or dash O is or anything called star.jpg. Uh, I could also do, uh, as well as dash O, you've got dash A. So that's and. Obviously, this isn't going to return anything because it can't be called star.ping and star.jpg. But so you've got uh, or and and. So you can use those. You've also got, so if I just do find in the current folder, that lists everything at any depth. If I do find in the current folder type F, then I just get the files rather than the folders or directories, as I was supposed to call them. I can do the opposite. I can do type D, and then I just get the directories and not the files. So you can, and obviously you can chain that with other things. So I want something called whatever, um, which is specifically a directory and not a file. So that's that's the basic usage. That's going to be most of your use of find. So if you want to, if you want to, like, if I wanted to get list all the MP3s in this uh, in this uh, current directory at any depth. Oh, first uh, let's do let's do max depth, min depth first. So let's do let's go back to my ping. Now I think I'm actually certain about this. I think max depth because with find there are some rules about the order of um, uh, the. Uh, what are these called? The order, the order of the rules, essentially, that you put in. So I think max depth has to come before uh, the name rules. So let's do max depth. Let's do max depth one first of all. So obviously max depth does what it says, like recurse into this many subdirectories. There's also min depth, so you can specify, you know, at, at no less than a particular depth. So yeah, okay, there's nothing in depth one. Let's try depth two just to prove that this works. I've done three. Uh, oh, I'm still doing, and um, that's why that's returning nothing. Uh, so yeah, I was still doing for things that are called both ping and JPEG, which isn't going to work, is it? There you go, some pings at depth two. Uh, I could change that to min depth. So nothing, nothing lower than a depth of two. So there's max depth. Min depth, they're extremely useful. Okay, let's talk about finding the current uh, directory. We'll stick with pings because I know there are some. Uh, start up ping. Uh, and we can exclude rules like this. So, so all pings. <laughs> that don't have an E in them anywhere. I actually need star star there, don't I? Uh, star star. So this is going to find at any depth something with uh, anything dot ping, but without an E in it. And there we go. So we've got the yeah, atom dot icon uh, atom underscore icon that doesn't have an E in it. So okay. So that gets a little bit sophisticated, right? So what we did there was. Uh, exclude so the exclamation mark means this rule is the opposite so something without this as the case so if this if this bit is true this entire thing is false essentially so excluding things basically think of that in terms of excluding things uh, you can also do a path so this is like the path contains something let's so let's since we've got these things in a thing called layers let's Let's, uh, let's insist on that path. And there we go. So you've got, you can specify the name, you can specify the path. So, you know, at any depth, I could, I could specify, a uh, you know, a particular requirement for the path. So that's the basics of find. Incredibly useful for just finding stuff on your system. And of course, I, on, in, in, right here, I'm just doing dot for the current folder, but this could be any folder. So let's say Etsy. And let's replicate what we did with um, globbing. 
So there you go. All the um, you're going to get permission denied because you're a normal user looking in a restricted file system. So you know that's going to happen. You have to deal with that in scripts. But uh, yeah, essentially that's done the same as the globbing and listed every comp file in my uh, Etsy folder, which is a useful thing to do, right? So I guess the last thing that's cool about the find command, and this is sometimes the reason why this is cool. Uh, is because you can replace a lot of bash scripts like something where okay so you wanted to list particular file types in a particular folder and then do something with them that's a common type of like little bash script that you're going to make right so instead of making a bash script you can just do this with one find command so if I, let me think of something that would actually be useful to do so okay let's make it let's make an example directory make the lol Okay, so then let's get that find that simple find command back up. Okay, uh, so then what you can do is an exec, so we can execute a command uh, that that acts on the results of what we find here. Actually, let's make this a bit more specific, because otherwise I'm gonna let's have uh, not all. Uh, let's have also in name. What have we got? Let's pick some very specific. All right, first of all, because I don't. <laughs> What I don't want is this script to take ages to execute because that would be a very poor example. So let's go with that layers command again, okay? Let's find that. Nasty. No, not layers. Layers, there we go. So what I did there is a recursive searching. If you don't know about recursive searching, that's cool too. Press Control R, type in what you're looking for, and then keep pressing Control R to go up through previous versions of commands that contain what you typed in. So searching commands, that's really useful. So here we're finding like those five files that are going to be in my five, isn't there? However many there are, 19, I guess. So that we're finding those 19 files uh, as there are. So then we can do, we can execute uh, a command uh, using Th those things as the input for the command right so let's execute cp so when you want to refer to the results that you find that's getting a bit wide now so let's get rid of that uh when you want to refer to the results you use these cut this little curly bracket thing so copy those files to lol uh, and then you terminate it with that the reason you need to escape that is so that it doesn't think that this is part of that Right, because you could you could have a command with semicolons in, so you escape the semicolon, which tells this exec that that's the end of the exec. So that's just you don't really need to know why to do that. Just you know, at the end of your exec command, do forward slash um, semicolon. So unless I fuck this up, this should take the results of that search and copy them all to that lol folder. So let's ls uh, lol, and it has indeed done that. So you can see that you can some some fairly simple bash scripts that are listing certain things in a certain directory and then doing something with them, they can be replaced with just a simple find command. Uh, and that's about it for basic usage of find. It's clearly you know you, you can search for names, you can search for pathies, you can pathies, you can pathies. Um, you can search for names and pathies. You can exclude um, names and pathies. You can search for file types, type D, type F. Um, and then you can execute things based on what you found. That's a lot of stuff, right? That's that's a cool command. So yeah, if you've been scared of the find command previously, just start using it. You'll get in the habit, and it's actually really fucking useful. I think that's about it. I'm just going to babble if I keep talking. So don't forget to rate, limit, and subside. Uh, if you want to, if you want to put give some money to a Patreon, don't go to Patreon.com/slash/hexdsl because he's better than me. Uh, the more money he gets, the less videos I will make. So if you hate if you hate this, give him money and I'll stop. Um, yeah, and that's it. Goodbye. I love you.